Did the devs listen? Let's find out. Dylan Zone Zero just dropped their official dev discussion, their very first radio talk, their redo renovation talk volume one, and they're going to go over the updates for the upcoming patch. Now, I'm hoping for some big changes because I think the feedback was very apparent. So let's see what they're cooking. The first paragraph here is just saying, hello, we're glad you enjoy our game and we hear your feedback. Here are the changes. Optimizations expected to be implemented in version 1.1. So here we go. In terms of the narrative experience, in the latest story missions of 1.1, for the first time you'll be able to interact with new Eridu's neighborhoods and fight through levels to advance the story's progress from the perspective of the mission's protagonist. So is that saying, you'll be able to interact with new Eridu's neighborhoods and fight through levels to advance the story's progress? Oh, okay. So, oh, from the mission. Okay, so you can play through the actual story of the game without the TV system, essentially. I think, right? Like the neighborhood of the open world, like New Eridu, Sixth Street, and uh, New Lumina Square. I think that's what they're saying. Let's keep reading to make sure, though. But I think they're saying you can actually progress the story with someone like Ambie or Nicole or one of the actual playable characters. And that was already a complaint from people, so that's already a good start. Number two, a button for manual chain attack mode will be added to the squad lineup interface. Thank you, man. I was like, because sometimes you don't want to switch characters. And I was just like, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, sometimes you don't want to switch characters, you know? So that'll be added where you can actually do it if you want to, or it won't be automatic. So in this mode, after stunning an enemy, your actions will not trigger other agents chain attacks additionally a cancel chain attack combo function will be added to combat allowing you to choose whether you use the manual chain attack mode according to your preferences thank you man because i was like sometimes you just don't want to switch you know you got your ice infusion with ellen and you're trying to use it and it's like switch and you're like no number three in terms of combat we've added a series of challenging combat missions and game modes that will be continuously updated. Uh, all proxies are welcome to try them out in the new version. What do you mean? New missions and game modes already? Just dropping them? In shoe defense, we have improved the display of the enemy's attribute resistances, making it easier easier for you to select sustainable agents for each challenge. Okay, that, that, that helps. I think they mean like before you start the battle, I think. So like they'll have a screen up like, hey, you need this, you need that. You know what I mean? So that'll be useful. Number five, after unlocking a new agent, the internaut avatar that the agent will be automatically unlocked. Or sorry, the internaut avatar of that agent will be automatically unlocked. Now you can select your favorite agent as your internaut avatar. Okay. Yeah, there were a lot a lack of avatars. I realized I only had like, you know, five or six. I'm just like the default ones. Number six. The battle menu interface on mobile devices will allow you to customize certain UI buttons with a preset plan so you can choose the controls that, set you, that best suit your playstyle. That's huge for mobile because that really matters where the buttons are when you play. So that's huge. Oh, all right. So now we're jumping to version 1.2. Interesting. Okay, so those were your, those were your, your bulk of changes in 1.1. So now we have optimizations expected to be implemented in version 1.2. So number one, for completed story commissions and exploration commissions with uncollected rewards, we'll be adding a fairy assistant feature, temporary name, <laughs> parentheses. Once you meet certain requirements, you can hand over these missions to fairy and receive all uncollected commission rewards at a set period of time. Okay, so like uh, you can get all your rewards in bulk, like if you didn't collect them for whatever reason. Two, while exploring the, the monitor array, the automatic accelerated playback when enabled will not be interrupted by other events. I hope that means what I think it means. Additionally, the animation playback speed for some events will be increased, providing a smoother gameplay experience. That's one where I'm excited about, but I got to see it in action. Got to see it in action because like, you know, it, it's a very, it's a very serious thing with like getting stun locked, you know, honestly, all the things that I was complaining about are already, you know, being talked about that's good number three a preset lineup feature will be added you'll be able to choose whether you include bang boos in your lineup for a battle commissions the sign up controls before the shoe defense will be optimized okay because yeah I, I noticed like you can't really you don't have like a team 
like a preset of teams. You just have to keep on changing your, your agents every single time. So that'll definitely be useful. That'll come in handy. Number four, the entrance location for agent training will be adjusted and repeated combat stages will be added. Agent training? Making it easier to access training and familiarize yourself with agent specific controls. Okay. Number five, after reaching a certain internet level, a feature that allows you to freely change the time will be unlocked. Wow. These are literally all the things that I was like, you know what, it'd be cool if they did this. That'd be cool if they did that. Like, it kind of sucks you can't do this. Making it more convenient to adjust the in-game time. Because right now you have to go back to your bed and go to sleep or the sofa, you know, like literally Z, Z, Z. Number six, based on your feedback, we have optimized the background brightness of some commissions. All right. So, so far, there is, they mentioned HDD, but I don't see any, like, TV thing yet. <laughs> so, but they did mention that they're going to make the story narrative uh, playable with just, you know, your, your main character. So, I guess that definitely means they're getting rid of the TV system in some areas, at least, like, the story mode. So, I'm assuming that's what that means. And if it is, that's, that's insane. So now we have optimizations in the later versions. Number one, currently you can only control Wise or Bell in the city instead of the other agents you've obtained. In the special program live streams of later versions, we will announce our current progress and future plans. Please stay tuned. Okay. So what they're saying there is possibly in the future we'll be able to run around with our actual agents instead of just Wise and Bell. Once again, another thing that I literally just said in the video, I just made a video talking about all the things, uh, you know, the good and bad of ZZZ and literally, this will be later though. So this won't be 1.1 or 1.2, this will be a long time coming because we'll have to animate all the agent characters in new era do mode or like in Wise and Bell mode, like open world. So it's gonna take them a while to do that, but. Number two, we will be continuously improvising the models for some agents to provide proxies with an improved visual experience. All right, so even further, they already have them all separate and all unique, and they're, all, they're putting it even further. We will continuously optimize the interface interaction experience in a combat interface UI. All proxies are welcome to explore the game further to let us know more suggestions. Once again, another thing people complained about, the UI system. The above is just part our optimization plans. We will continue to pay attention to your gaming experience and further refine the game. We'll be adding more fun and challenging combat elements and adjusting the balance of the different game modes. We are aware that there is still much room for our team to grow and develop. Together with you, we hope to build new Eridu in the city of your dreams, or into the city of your dreams. Please continue to share your thoughts with us with your official feedback channels. All right, so, the takeaway from that, yeah, that's that's huge. The takeaway from that are a lot of things, but I do want to mention a very important thing. This bulk was 1.1, so expect these changes in the upcoming patch after Juan's banner. And then we have a big change here. People complain about this as well, but this won't actually be in any of the upcoming versions. This should be like 1.3, maybe even 0.4, because that's going to take a lot of work to do. But yeah, I mean, essentially they really hit the nail on the head. There's a lot, like almost all the points that we brought up in my own video, that's not gonna age well too well. Um, a lot of videos that I've seen, all these things are all the things that people talked about, you know? So, I mean, assuming this, the first one is the TV thing, you know? They didn't say like, no TVs, you know what I mean? Like at all, they didn't say that. But what they're saying is essentially, you'll be able to play the story mode with a main character, you know, and that'll be the way you get to the next mission. It won't be up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right to get, you know, to, to do the campaign. So yeah, man, like salute. This is, there's a lot of things here that we talked about. Like seriously, I mean, the, the chain attack thing was, you know, I forgot to mention that actually, but the chain attack combo was definitely a thing that kind of bothered me. I was like, I don't want to switch all the time. You know what I mean? So, hey, Devs listened. They actually did listen. I would have been so so upset if it was just like, oh yeah, we added some new arcade game modes and you know we changed a couple of this, a couple of that, and that's it. You know what I mean? So it's a great first dev talk. Great first dev talk for like you know a game that just came out as well, like the 1.0 release. 
So, but once again, I do want to emphasize that these changes will take some time. They will take some time. So 1.1, we're looking at, we're looking at TV elimination, at least a little bit, I guess. I, I can't really give you like a full answer on that, but it looks like TVs will not be as much as in your face as they were before. The chain attack button will be gone, or the, the automatic chain attack trigger will be gone. There's more game modes, apparently, <laughs> new, new game modes, new missions. Easier layout and shoot defense, and new avatars, and then uh, mobile gets UI changes as well. So Reward collection, a smoother experience when you're in the TV mode for just all modes. Preset lineup for teams. I guess a new area, a new, a new place to train. And then once again, another big feature, you don't have to go all the way back to your home and go to sleep to pass the time. You can just do it on the fly. And uh, in the future, so 1.3, 1.4, no more wise or bell only, you'll be able to actually play as your other character. So that's a big thing people complain about as well. So that's a huge, huge bonus. So yeah, devs listened. This is great news and it will take some time but I'm happy to see this. I really am. I really am happy to see this because I just they listened. <laughs> they listened, man. So looking forward to this. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you, devs. You guys are respectable. Thank you for listening and actually taking the feedback and not just kind of choosing what to listen to. I appreciate you guys just actually hearing what people have to say about the game. And honestly, I don't think you could possibly avoid it. I mean, it's been so in your face and, you know, it's been every single video on YouTube. It's been every single post, Reddit post. So, you know, I'm glad that you actually didn't shy away from it and you actually did look at your problems and try to fix them. So kudos to you guys. Kudos to the devs. Shout out to all you guys, like actually giving feedback on the game and criticism or even like if you just hated it, like we appreciate everyone just putting their thoughts out there and getting this, getting this to them, you know, and of course them for listening. So. Thank you all, and thank you devs. This is awesome. So looking forward to this. 1.1, good changes. 1.2, good changes. And then from then on, we're just going up and up and up from there. So that'll be all for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.